Today I'm closing out last paychecks budget, updating my monthly tracker in preparation for payday this week. Let's see where my spending is at. <laughs> oh, all right, here we go. Okay, so my last paycheck, my total income was $1,778.38. And since then, I also have $75 from reselling. This other $50 was also from reselling, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that. So overall, so far this month in June, I have $1,853.38 in income. I don't have any other fixed expenses, my mortgage, my union dues, that is already all taken care of. Let's go over here to variable expenses. I already filled in some of this. So let me go to here where I left off. So I had some shopping. I have three entries of shopping, 33.47, and 11.44. This was actually something for my other side hustle reselling. So I will have to pay myself back from a reselling checking account to my personal account. It's just that I ordered it on Amazon. It was hooked up to my personal account. I know you're not supposed to intermingle those two accounts, but anyway, that's another video for another time. Um, and then 11.44, that was for, whoops, I want this one under miscellaneous. So I know I need to pay that one, pay myself back. Anyway, um, this 11.44, Oh, that was my planner for work. I have to get a new planner in June, not in January, because that's how the academic school year works. Um, and then I had a lunch for 825. Um, I had another day out for lunch for 3175. I must have treated somebody that day. Stopped, whoops. Stopped for a soda. That was 326. And then I had two returns from Amazon. One was something I bought for my reselling business and it really didn't work out, so I returned it. And the other thing was a tie-dye kit I bought for work. Before the school ended, we did a tie-dyeing t-shirt, but I didn't use that kit. I used uh, one other kit and then some refillable things since I already had the bottles. It worked out great, so the second kit I was able to return. So I'm entering those two as negatives because um, they're getting credited back and that has already happened. Okay, so I did go in and adjust the budget for the month um, in a previous video because my spending had been a little bit crazy. So I'm definitely going to show that I'm over budget. I had reduced the budget from, I think it was four or five hundred dollars down to 168 i actually have spent three hundred three dollars thirteen cents so that put me over by 135.13 some of those charges did go on my credit card so let's talk about that my private student loan that is due on the ninth of the month it's a 324 dollar and change so i round it up to 325 i paid five hundred dollars it feels so good to be able to pay so much extra, especially because the interest rate is variable and was creeping up for like six, eight months. Anyway, the credit card, I had budgeted a payment of $100. And I ended up making a payment of $200 on payday, but then also another $100. Now here's the thing. I had the extra $75 come in from reselling. And when I looked at what I had in savings versus how much I owed on my credit card, it made sense to me just to pay off the credit card. So that's what I decided to do. I took the 200, I think $230 
from my Belco account. So now Belco is going to be at minus 130, even though I budgeted $100 this month. And I also, from Discover, took out $280. That was from my Discover savings. Then I also took out the $190. There was a little bit more than that, but I just did a flat $190 from my Capital One savings. And all of that has been put on my credit card. <laughs> I'm going to combine this and this. So I did this in separate payments as they were coming in to my checking account. Um, and the reason that I did the separate payments is, well, the Belco right away was in my account. So I could right away send that to uh, my credit card. And I forget what day of the month it is. It's either the 15th or the 19th that my credit card tends to report to the credit bureaus. So I was trying to get the money moved sooner than later to boost my score. So I did a payment of $350 and then I did another payment of $280. Okay, so then we have the $190 from my savings. So everything, whoops, everything has been transferred. So income budgeted $1,732. Total income was $1,853.38. I received $121 more than what I was expecting this month. Uh, fixed expenses is I was expecting $455 and that's what got paid, so the difference is zero. Debt, I was expecting to put $425 towards debt. I was able to put $1,620 towards debt. That is $1,195 more than what I was expecting. So we're in the green there and I'm so close to paying off that credit card. And then every last red cent from once that credit card is paid off, every last cent that I get is going towards that private student loan so that I can pay it off in 2024. By the end of 2024, I'm really going to push it to have it done before the holiday season. I don't think I'll have it done in one year, but next summer, that's going to be a major stretch. But definitely at some point later next year, that should be done. Um, savings, I was putting $326 towards savings, and I actually pulled out my savings. It says minus $374. So my savings is now a difference. Of, oh, here, this is where it makes sense. <laughs> So I'm minus $374 for my savings. So uh, I pulled out like $700. Uh, variable expenses, I had adjusted the budget down to $168, spent $303 and change. So I overspent by about $135. At the end, I should have had $358 left over. It actually shows me being in the hole by $150.75 because the money that I took out as savings, some of that I had put there in May. Of course, I'm going to be in the negative here because I actually took money out of savings last from last month. But overall, I have a buffer in my checking account. I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm hoping to get that credit card paid off. I'm really nervous about reselling. Reselling has been extremely slow. If you guys want to hear a little bit more about that, let me know in the comments. But I don't want to bore you guys with that content here. Uh, but it has been extremely slow and I really, I'm, I'm getting concerned that what I budgeted to have for reselling income, I'm not going to get. So I need to figure out a plan for the rest of the summer because there's things coming up that I thought, okay, well, my full-time job is going to cover so many of these expenses and then reselling will cover extra debt payments and the extra stuff I have coming up this summer. And if I don't have that extra income, 
not only am I going to struggle with the extra things I already have in the pipeline of my schedule, but I'm not going to be able to put as much towards debt, which means I'm not going to make my goal (laughs) with my private student loans. So anyway, let me just get out of the rabbit hole I'm going down right now. Everything is going to work out. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below. I have a giveaway and a new subscriber savings challenge. You can check that video out and see how that works. I just posted it the other day. Um, so if you're not subscribed, and according to my analytics, about half the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you made it this far, you must be interested in this kind of content. So you might as well subscribe. I can't think of anything clever to say to close this video, so I'll just say goodbye. See you guys in the next one. Something didn't look quite right, and I forgot to update my monthly tracker. Let me get set back up here. We need to update this. This is um, under the June 2nd paycheck. My paycheck was $1,582.12. I brought in $175 in reselling which is really great. And then I had in a separate check a stipend for $96.26. That is all my income for the month. Well, so far for the month from the June 2nd paycheck. Then I had two bills to pay, my bill, uh, my mortgage and utility bills and the like, $400, union dues, $55. That looks good. I budgeted, well, no, I sent... $500 to the private loan. The rest of this went to my credit card. So let me take this out. That means $1,120 went to my credit card. I have, I can't say it without smiling. I'm just so happy that I'm almost done with that. Okay. So $1,620 for debt. That looks good. Let's go down here. Now the savings. (laughs) My savings, I did send all of this to savings, but then I took out $230, $190, and $280, so $670 I'm going to put in here as a negative. I know you're not supposed to take out of your savings, but I really want to get that debt out of the way, and for the amount of interest and paying on my credit card versus the amount of interest that I'm earning in my high yield savings account. I am going to save $20 a month in seven months. So it was $140, 20, yeah, 20 times seven. So I'm saving myself $140 in interest. And as far as an emergency fund, my husband and I do have one. So um, that we keep separate. Um, and it's mostly income that he has earned, <laughs> although I have access to it and can use it if I need to. Like last year when my car broke down. Well, my car didn't break down, but when it went in for the inspection. Anyway, that's another video for another time. So I took out $670. Whew. Ouch. Okay, and then the last category here is variable expenses. I'm just going to put in what I spent. 317, 42, 0, 193, 118, 34, 20, 31, 70, 79, and 0. So just to review for the month, I have to move my head. Although it shows me in the negative for the June 2nd pay, remember, that is considering what I had in savings before this month that I took out. I do leave myself a buffer in my checking account. So rest assured that account is not negative. And it looks like um, with the June 16th paycheck, I should have $530 left over. And that will of course go to debt. The June 30th paycheck is going to need to roll into July and cover things in the first half of the month for July. So although I'm showing a $1,926.25 balance in the positive for the month of June, just know a whole bunch of that has to roll over into July. Looks good. I'm very happy with where I'm at right now. As soon as that paycheck hits my account June 16th, I'm going to take care of that budget. 
Um, I can't wait to see how much that paycheck is because I should be getting some stipends, uh, additional stipends from work. <sighs> All right. Now I'm done for like for real this time. See you guys next time. Bye.